Welcome back to the Thursday night preview. We got a good one here. The Chiefs minus three at the Raiders. Raiders getting three at home. Oy. Rightfully so, because I think all of a sudden they've started to suck. Division yeah. matchup, baby. I know, but still. To me, I don't, I don't know. How, to me, I don't see. Okay, is anyone going to take the Raiders in this? Oof, it's going to be tough to take the Raiders in this one. Can I, you trust to take the Raiders, though? I can't trust anything with the Raiders right now because their best player is not playing up to where he should be playing. And I know there's a lot of injury concerns, but Derek, Derek, David, excuse me, Derek, Derek or David, either <laughs> either car is not playing well right now. Uh, but no, but Derek Carr is not playing well right now. And uh, a, a big reason for that is probably Amari Cooper as well. And when you're not getting your two stars, the two guys are supposed to be carrying your team on a team that's heavily pass oriented, you're going to struggle. And right now I'm just seeing a lot of struggles. I was saying, like, I mean, if you take Amari Cooper off this offense, which basically he's done anyway, he Seth Roberts has more yards than Amari Cooper this season, it's crazy, which is insane. Amari Cooper's on pace to have like seven hundred yards, something ridiculous like that. Uh, and this is a guy that you relied on heavily last year. You you need that guy to perform, and you expect him to perform. So when he's not, and then that, now it's Seth Roberts mm. and Michael Crabtree has been playing well. But that's one guy on your offense. They can't run the ball. They're not throwing well because there's only one guy who's a threat. You have Jared Cook, who's like a, a pretty good tight end, but not a fucking Gronkowski or Kelsey or anything like that. So this offense has suddenly went from really productive last year to what? Like, there's it's just very stagnant to me. They're also getting nothing from Marshawn Lynch in the ground game. That yeah. The only thing they are getting from the running backs is when Jalen Rashard checks in, and you know a couple dump offs here and there. But he's explosive. Yeah, but how much can you expect from him? He's not a guy that goes in between the tackles. Average Amari. Uh, some fan. Uh, I wish I could give him credit. He tweeted at me when I was hyping up Amari Cooper last week because on DFS he was like the cheapest I've ever seen him, and I was playing him a lot. He's like, dude, don't play average Amari. I just like how like that flowed together. And <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, he's he's kind of average. Yeah. Like right now, if you're playing fantasy football and a guy starting Amari Cooper against you, you're not worried. I, no. I'm happy. I'm fucking Yeah, excited. like you're, you're hyped, you know? And shout out to Tim. Spot on way early to the party about Michael Crabtree is the wide receiver you want on that team. He is the number one wide receiver. And Amari Cooper is only the number one wide receiver because of the name. And he's not living up to it. Where's the ACDC gifts we were seeing? Yeah, there's you none know? of that. Uh, Amari Cooper, D- uh, Derek Carr. You, it's quiet this year. And, and I mean, the Chiefs also just have their number. The last time, fi- The last five times they've met... The Chiefs have won, and they covered four of those times. Wow. So That's giant. That's that's big time because the Chiefs right now are playing good ball. And, yes, they just lost to the Steelers, but let's not forget the Steelers are 3-0 and against the Chiefs in their last three meetings. That's not something that the rest of the league has had. And the Steelers kind of like laid out the blueprint for success uh, for how to beat the Saints. They were playing a lot of zone defense. And when you play that zone defense, you take away those gadget misdirection plays that the Kansas City Chiefs love to run so much. And when you take that away, you have a chance to beat the Chiefs. The only thing is, the Steelers have the personnel to do that, right? Do the Raiders have the personnel to do that? You saw the Raiders' secondary play pretty well against the against the Chargers, but that's against, as a Nick Bar, the shot fighter that is... Philip Rivers. So when you're looking at that, do they have the personnel? Because they have the blueprint now, but can they execute? I don't think they can. I don't think so either. Like I said, I think this this offense is taking a huge step back. Amari Cooper had taken ten steps back. That guy is like yeah. a completely different person than he was last year. Uh, and that, and that's deflating. And also, you got to figure Derek Carr is playing banged up. He's he's coming back from an injury early, and for what? Two injuries because he ended last season on an injury as well. Right. So I mean. If, it's just not if, looking good. If you want to take the Chiefs for real, similar to what I was saying about the Steelers going into that Chiefs game, I love picking a team that got embarrassed the week before or suffered a bad loss the next week, right? Pittsburgh lost to Jacksonville, got humiliated, come on the road, they win in, in uh, Kansas City. Kansas City as a favorite, nobody was giving Pittsburgh life besides us two on the podcast. Hey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... Now, Kansas City, short week. You know what I like to say? I like taking the better head coach. I give the edge to Andy Reid in this one. All right. The better quarterback this year is Alex Smith. I give the edge there. I'm definitely not picking the Raiders. Yeah, no. 
I will say, though, that the Chiefs last week against the Steelers, you only give the ball to Kareem Hunt nine times. That needs mm. to change. You, you need to change. You need to give that well, guy nine the ball. carries because, like, Tim, well, nine Tim carries. said he got some targets out the backfield. Five, five catches at the backfield for 90 yards, which is good, but you need to you need to control right. the pace with that run. I mean, yo, and he could do both. We saw, especially, I mean, in week one, he was fucking went, went crazy. He was catching balls. He was running all over the place. So he can do both, but you need to get the guy going on the ground. Like, mm. he's the, le- the league's leading rusher for a reason. Get, get him the ball. So, I mean, especially against a, a weak Raiders defense, this could get, I feel like this could get ugly, man. The Chiefs I, are, are pissed, too. Coming off a loss, this could get bad. That's why I want to see if they're going to, if, if they, if they want to be a Super Bowl contender in my eyes, and, you know, I've kind of been hesitant to always crown the Chiefs, even in the past, you need to come out and just blow the doors off. An Oakland team that's kind of a one-trick pony, and that pony's not even doing that well now. The, they can only pass, and they can't get anything out the passing game. I, I will say this for the Raiders, though. They have a chance to win if they find explosion again. Last year, their their brand was explosion. Explosive plays out of the backfield, explosive defensive plays when they would make turnovers, and goal line carries where there was explosions up the middle, right? Their whole game was explosions. And if there's one thing that Kansas City is susceptible to, it's the explosive play. So if the Ra- if the Raiders are going to have a chance in this one, they're going to have to hit on two or three explosive plays. At least one of those are going to have to come on the defensive side with a big turnover. So they're going to need the- that edge, that explosive edge, which they haven't been showing this year at all. That I'm now going back to last year's Raiders. But if they can return to that form and have some explosion, if Crabtree or Cooper can catch a long one, or if there could be a return for a touchdown or something like that, that's the way they have the chance. But if it's a straight-up game and there's the turnover battle is equal and the the Chiefs are keeping the Raiders' explosion where it has been for this year, I think it's it's good night. It's a it's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah. So are you going Chiefs or Raiders in this game? I'm going to go Chiefs, minus three. How about you? Uh, I'll take the Chiefs, too. I think... Uh, I think they're going to bounce back here. I also, I'm, I'm also going to take the Chiefs, and I understand what you're saying, but we're also asking a team that has been playing bad in the Raiders with a hurt quarterback and a wide receiver who I don't know what the fuck's going on with him to play against a, a pretty good Chiefs secondary too, a, a, a good defense here. Uh, I think this game could get ugly. I'm also going to go Chiefs, so another clean sweep. Another clean sweep. We've yeah. been pretty good in our clean sweep so far. Have we? I feel like we've been not... No, we've been good. Yeah. No, I think well, we've our been picks on the podcast. Picks. Whenever we go sweep, it's bad. On the podcast, yeah. On this show, though. Yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. we're, we're doing well. All right. Well, there you have it. Another Thursday Night Football preview in the books. Too sweet. Too sweet. We'll see you next time. <laughs>